What's going on, Rangers? And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Miss Dark Phoenix, is back with my review of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. If you haven't read it, this is going to be minor plot points, so nothing too spoilery. And I cannot wait to tell you guys about what I thought about this issue. My two childhood people are meeting for the first time, I think. I'm not sure. Is when they met them in space count? I mean, if they're Mighty Morphin, then I think it's er it's way earlier. Like, I know Mighty Morphin was, like, the first one. And in space was, like, a little later. Never mind. We'll get into that later. Our Rangers and our Turtles do their own separate missions to take care of bad guys. Because, you know, that's what our teenagers with attitude are best about. And our childhoods are meeting. And it's it's so great. I was so excited with, to, to, to even be able to know that this crossover was happening. And it's really good. And a mysterious figure knocks someone down, and it's hurt our pride. I, I'm not going to lie. It was really interesting to find out that this happened. Even, even, I don't know if it's even better or even worse. I didn't notice who it was until, like, pages later. So then when I p turn the pages back to read that... I was like, oh shit, like, I, I don't know if that was intentional or if I'm just missing something, but I, I was like, alright, let's go. So, they're never gonna get that chance again, and though this is the face, they hit us in the face, so, you know, we had to do that, but our pride is hurt, and yeah, but we felt it, but never forget that real G's move in silence like lasagna. I'll give you a second, because that was some real good, real good uh, advice right there. And then we have an awesome rooftop fight, and our counterparts fight each other, and it's so awesome to see their skills against each other, and how they talk to each other, and how, like, their skills are the same, but it's the opposite. Like, you can be paired up with somebody that fights like you, but you don't fight like them, if that makes sense. So you gotta still be on your toes. And this issue was really solid. It, it gives my current self and my younger self so much nerd joy. This crossover is such a great idea. And I'm really interested in seeing what comes of this in future issues. The potential is endless. I have so many theories. If you guys want to see uh, some theories I have, comment down below. And also comment down below with your own theories. Because I would love to see this. I'm also really digging how the turtles look. Like I really like the art. In this book, I'm st I'm mostly caught up to date with the Power Rangers comics, so it was nothing new for them. But how they drew the turtles and their personalities, it's it's it's, it's them, it's them, and this is gonna make our interactions really fun and interesting going forward. But like I said, guys, how excited are you for issue two? I'm definitely saying pick this issue up, and I'm definitely recommending you add it to your pull list. It is just that good, and let's talk about the issue together. I am so excited, guys. It's Morphin Time, Cowabunga, all of it. And what did you guys think about the issue? Tell me down below in the comments. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, my Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and my YouTube are all down below. I post nerdy content on here you're going to love. And do not forget, guys, to stay positive, stay on the grind. Everything happens for a reason. I love and support you. Your time is coming, and everything's going to get better. Do not forget that through good times and bad times, you remember to geek out. And enjoy your lives, and I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.